Welcome to the podcast Building Information Modeling, in which you will learn the essential aspects of this new working method in a few minutes. Let's start with the term Building Information Modeling, or BIM for short. The term itself contains already the foundation of what BIM is about. The creation of buildings or objects with the use of information. Understood? Probably not. Therefore, let me explain BIM with a fairly simple example. A Lego brick. Here you can see a Lego brick in 2D as well as in 3D. By looking at these images, it immediately becomes clear to us that this is a Lego brick. However, for the classic CAD software, this is not a Lego brick. For the software, it is only a combination of lines and circles, and only limited information is available for the software to evaluate, such as the length or the lines or the diameters of the circles. BIM goes one step further. We still have a geometric representation of the Lego brick, but now we add information to it, such as the exact product name of the brick, the dimensions, weight, article number, and so on. This information is added in a structured form, and the software tools in the BIM environment can work with this information. If we now transfer this to a building design with BIM, we use the Lego bricks of the different building products and model the building with these bricks. If, for example, each component has a price as an attribute attached to it, the software can determine the exact total cost of the building and also evaluate the influence if we use cheaper gray bricks instead of the white one. The same applies to other aspects as well. If, for example, the gray Lego brick has poor thermal insulation properties, we then see the change directly in the total energy requirement of the building. The example with the Lego brick illustrates the basic idea of BIM. However, BIM is much more than Lego. But first, let's take a quick look at what BIM looks like in a software example. Here you can see a building model which was designed with the software Revit from Autodesk. In the right part of the building, a window is selected and therefore marked blue. On the left side, you can see which component the marked window represents, and you can see that this is a Reha Geneo window. The corresponding product-specific attributes of this window are also listed here. The second example shows a Reha heating manifold in the direct front view. And finally, a 3D view of a living room. Here you can see that basically BIM content is used for all products. With such a 3D view as we see it here, the architect, for example, can easily communicate the design to his client and both sides have a completely different basis for discussions than we know it so far. A BIM design usually begins with the architect. However, it should not remain alone. With BIM, as many project participants as possible should work with the same building model, which means design and building together. The building data model is therefore at the center of the design and all project participants should have access to it, starting with the client, the architects, engineers, authorities, as well as the site managers and contractors. With this approach, basically all parties involved always have the same level of information and any changes may quickly become apparent to everyone. That brings me also to the next point BIM pursues. The basic idea, first the digital design, then the real construction. Why that? Quite simple. If everyone works with the same 3D model, it quickly becomes apparent where problems could arise in the later construction phase. A simple example. The HVC and the electrical engineer coordinate the routing of the ventilation ducts and cable routes during the design phase. Then the design takes place with the knowledge that they have agreed on. During the execution, however, it is recognized that the crossing points were not coordinated. For example, the cable routes are already installed where the ventilation duct is supposed to run. As a result, the parties involved have to meet at the construction site and find a solution that will definitely lead to additional costs for the client. With a fully planned 3D model, such a problem can be avoided at an early stage, since the software tools offer the possibility to appropriate collision checks and discover problems that can be eliminated in the design phase. Another important aspect of BIM is the fact that the building data model, and in particular the information it contains, can be used over the entire life cycle of an object. The client or his commission facility manager has a particular interest in knowing which components are installed in a building. 
BIM does not only concern the design, BIM concerns all life phases of the building objects. To summarize the above and its advantages once again. With BIM, design errors can be avoided because, as explained, all project participants have access to the central building data model with all information. By using a 3D model, collision points can already be identified in the design phase and cost-intensive corrections on the construction site can be avoided. BIM provides a transparent decision basis regarding cost. Remember the LEGO house where cost changes are directly visible when certain LEGO bricks or components are replaced. By using the building data model not only in the design phase, but also during the execution, it is possible to keep an eye at the cost and also on time schedules. The central model improves the communication between all parties involved, who are now talking about one and the same thing. The building data model offers a variety of possibilities for optimized designs. For example, by simulating energy requirements when different window solutions are played through during the design. And the 3D model can be used to visualize the finished building to the client or the future users. In addition, construction process simulation can be implemented, which is certainly of interest to the public for large-scale projects. However, one note is important at this point. BIM is a working method and not a software. In order to implement BIM, appropriate software tools are required, and there are various solutions on the market which also depend on the field of activity in which we are active in. The architect, for example, needs BIM platforms such as Archicad, Alplan or Revit, to name three examples. The engineers, on the other hand, continue to require corresponding specialist software tools for the technical calculations and design and, in addition to this, all those involved need the BIM content, meaning the Lego bricks, of the building products which come from manufacturers, among others. Who are the drivers behind BIM? Who demands the use of this working method? On the one hand, these are often companies that have buildings constructed for their own purposes, such as the automotive industry, hospital operators, technology groups or transportation companies. These companies have a particular focus on the operating cost over the entire life cycle of a building, which are significantly higher than the pure construction cost. In this respect, the focus is, among other things, on energy-optimized designs with a healthy cost-benefit ratio. General contractors have also recognized the advantages of BIM and are demanding and promoting the topic. The same applies to the government side. Some governments around the world are already demanding the use of BIM for certain construction projects. And last but not least, the steadily increasing number of architects and engineers who have recognized the advantages and are focusing on the subject. What does REA offer on the subject of BIM? REA provides BIM content for its products so that architects and engineers can include REA products in their design work. The BIM content is available both as individual objects and via a component management system. This is a plugin for various BIM platforms that can be used to quickly and easily pre-assemble the required products. To draw a conclusion, BIM stands for a digital transformation of the construction industry and will be a matter of course in the not too distant future. Therefore, it can only be recommended to deal with this topic at an early stage. If you need further information or BIM content, please visit our website at www.rayout.com/bim.